Wow. <laughs> this team is kind of cool. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Based on what I'm looking at here, I'm pretty sure Crow has an, uh, a Gigantamax Blastoise, which is pretty cool. Imagine Thwacky against the Gigantamax Blastoise. If and only if this thing does not Shell Smash on us, I have a good chance of knocking it out. But yeah, if you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, we are using a brand new team. And welcome back to uh, Wi-Fi Battle. It's been a long time since I've recorded. And I'm having a blast recording, to be honest with you. But anyways, my opponent has a really good team with the Blastoise, the Slowking, Garchomp, Corbin Knight, Scizor, and the Mimikyu, which are all annoying Pokemon, to be quite honest with you. Um, starting with the Toxapex last time, I actually played its really, really, really good benefits. But I feel comfortable starting with Chandelure, given that, it has, that my opponent has a Psychic type. Um... It has steel types. I think Chandelure is going to be the MVP of this Wi-Fi battle. More than Thwacky, the Pokemon we're building this team around, has not had a chance to shine. But I'm hoping that we can get this team to shine here sometime soon. So let's see how things go. Let's see. I really miss the soundtrack of this game. By the way, what did you guys think about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Simply put, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it was fun while well, it lasted, but the Wi-Fi battles, I can't do. I don't know what it is about that. I can't do the Wi-Fi battles. Now, let's go ahead and focus here. Um, I'm pretty sure my opponent is going to switch out. I have no doubt my opponent is going to switch out into the Blastoise. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Bring in the Blastoise. I'm going to go ahead and hit you with that. Who is this? Oh, I should have gone for a Shadow Ball instead of the Energy Ball because now you resist that. Now, my opponent's gonna think that either A, I'm Choice Scarf, or B, he's gonna know that I am actually Choice Specs, which I'm hoping is not the case. Now, what did my opponent come into, you may ask? Probably he's gonna predict something against my gosh darn um, Gardevoir, like a Poison type attack. I forgot what Poison type attack it goes. Scald, that's actually not good. Not good. Do not burn me. Do not burn. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this gave me the opportunity to just knock off, knock it out, cut it out. Let's get you out of there because I'm going to get a free knockoff from the thing if you want to or not. Whether it's you or something else, we get it on this thing and it gets knocked out. Bye, Sharp. I love you. I love you. The last Wi Fi battle with, with Bye, Sharp kind of uh, it's a cruel Pokemon. That's all I got to say about it. Have you guys, have you guys um, noticed I've lost some weight? I don't got a double chin no more. Oh crap, my bad, dropped my remote. Okay, so Garchomp comes out, which is no good. No, no, no good. Because this is giving him the opportunity to either Earthquake or do something else. I'm actually comfortable going for the Halucha here. Predicting the Earthquake gives me the opportunity to, I don't know, do something. But I also kind of look, I kind of like Thwacky for this matchup. Now, how does um, the grassy terrain benefit me? Not very much. And I don't think I can take an attack from this Garchomp, if I'm being quite honest with you. So, um, 91 defense. I'm not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not taking an attack from this thing. So, I'm actually okay going with Halucha here. I'm actually going to protect uh, or protect my Bisharp as much as I can, given that it has knockoff. Um, to be fair, Thwacky has knockoff too, so, you know, we can do a couple things here and there. Scale Shot. I don't like this one bit. I do not like this one bit. So, Garchomp speed raises, and it now outspeeds my gosh darn uh, Gardevoir. And I really don't want Halucha to go down yet, so I think what I'm going to do here... I'm gonna go into the Guard of War and please do not make me regret this. I'm begging you, please do not make me regret this. Go for the Dragon type attack. I don't know, go go for something. We got the rough skin ourselves, so maybe we can do something to this thing. Poison jab. Oh my gosh. Woo! One! Oh, come on. That's the worst thing that could have happened. <coughs> Vocal cords got messed up. Okay, so here comes the leftovers, and I honestly think that I absolutely have to go for the Halucha. I cannot believe I lived with one HP, and it got poisoned. I cannot believe that. That was jacked up. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's the only way I can put it. 
Because I'm going to go ahead and go to the Thwacky here. We're going to set up our gosh darn terrain. And I really cannot do anything to this Garchomp, to be quite honest with you. Now, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do to it, to be honest. I think I'm going to U-turn. I think I feel kind of comfortable U-turning. Not really, though. I don't have... I should have... Uh, what, what am I going to do? I really don't know what I'm going to do. I may be Toxapex. So I actually think I'm going to U-turn here, go into Toxapex. Like, kind of do something to this Garchomp. Oh, no. You did not just Sword Dance in my face. You did not just do that. Oh, that's why. It's a crit, homie. The good news is that this thing does not have... Um, Priority. Thwacky might actually be able to do something for us. Now, what am I going to go for, you may ask? I'm going to go for the Hawlucha here. We're going to Grassy Seed here. Increase our defenses a little bit more. And we're actually going to wreck havoc on his team at this point. You want a Swords Dance in my face? You should not have done that, my friend. Leftovers and then the damn terrain. That's kind of rough because now this Garchomp is going to rough us up a little bit. Now, what am I going to go for here? He's getting a little too cocky. So I'm actually going to Acrobatics here, given that I have no item. And I'm pretty sure that's enough to knock it out. Though I can be wrong. He's, his main attacking move at this point is either Poison Jab or Scale Shot. Because he cannot Earthquake me. Kind of got a little bit of greed going on here with the Garchomp. Okay, Acrobatics comes out, and we're going to knock this thing out. Yes, sir. You can hit me with that rough skin. I really don't mind. I think what I'm going to do next. So you're either going to go out into the Corviknight. I don't really don't think you're going to come out into Caesar. I really don't think you're that um, ballsy. <laughs> I really don't think you have the guts to go into one of those two Pokemon. I really think it's either going to be Mikmik you, which I have no doubt. Oh, you do come out with the Crow. What are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna high jump kick here. Honestly, I'm kind of comfortable with how I'm with how I'm playing. I really am. Okay, good. I got a little scared. Not gonna lie. That does a. It's another crit. That's what I. Oh, it's a Rocky Helmet Dual Wing B is gonna knock us out, unfortunately, which is perfectly fine, because I'm actually gonna go out into the Chandelier here. And I really, really am confident to say that Chandelure is going to knock him out. That, or actually, I can go into the Bice Shark and then just knock something off. I think that's the better play. I really do. We're going to go ahead and just knock off. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Just BAM! Cut it out. We're going to knock this item off. And if you switch, you switch. We're going to knock off any item with any Pokemon you bring in. So, Crow goes down. Rocky Helmet is going to do some damage, obviously. Now, I'm actually not afraid of anything he brings in at this point, to be quite honest with you. We're going to get that delicious, nutritious, grassy um, terrain health restored. What could it... He probably has the body press. He would have either roost or body pressed me if I didn't go for that. Because I was kind of thinking maybe uh, Rock Polish was the play, but no, it's not. It is not. Here comes the Blastoise, and I'm actually kind of comfortable smacking it around with the knockoff, if I'm being honest with you. If you Dynamax, you Dynamax. I will Dynamax myself or, you know, do something. And this guy gens his Pokemon. This guy gens his Pokemon. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to knock you off, and you're just, yeah, you're going to take it. Also, what do you guys think of Pokemon Legends Arceus, by the way? I played that game. It's a beautiful game. I mean, I'm excited for Generation 9. Maybe it's too early. Maybe it's too early, but I'm excited nonetheless. New Pokemon to use. Brand new adventure, you know. The use. You cannot White Herb anymore if that's what you got. Rocky Helmet. What? What? I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. So you're gonna go ahead and Scald, and, um... Yeah, I really... I really don't know. So I got two Pokemon left, right? Or three? I got three Pokemon left. Um, so you got the Rocky Helmet. I can essentially come in Baneful Bunker or Stockpile and then Toxapex becomes the MVP again. Or I can go ahead and go to Thwacky. 
Um, I think the play to make is going to be to go out into the Thwacky. Worst comes to worst, he comes in into the uh, Scizor. I go into the Toxapex. I think we got this game in the bag. I think we got this game in the bag. Because I think what we're going to do here, we're actually going to... I think he's going to switch, if I'm being honest with you. This gives me the opportunity to knock something off on something. Or just Grassy Glide, you know. I think Grassy... Oh, he, he rage quit. He quit. He quit. I guess uh, that's it for this Wi-Fi battle. I'm running a little bit of, um, out of time to record, and I really want to do one more video. So that's going to be it for this one. I'm sorry my opponent quit, but if you enjoyed, leave a like. Peace.